Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Everybody's asleep, so I'm trying not to be too loud. Baby's asleep, Jen's asleep. It's the morning. Uh, yeah, home vlog. This is gonna be a fun and exciting day. We've got baby stuff to do, and uh, we're gonna just be hanging out here, kind of getting back into the vlogging groove as we're like getting back from our break. So that's what today is gonna be all about. We had a first this morning. It was baby's first gigantic thunderstorm. And there was thunder and lightning and everywhere, and Baby didn't care, but Bandit was super scared. Baby fell asleep on my chest while it was happening, so I, I guess he's cool with the rain. So I bet you guys are wondering, what? What, are, what? Good morning. Oh, good morning. I'm here now. You're here now? Yeah, I'm here. You did it. <laughs> I bet you guys are wondering what our routine is like, and it's kind of all over the place. Like, our routine is not nailed down specifically yet, <laughs> but we have an idea. So basically, uh, I sleep for a little bit, while you stay awake with the baby, mm -hmm. and then you sleep for a little bit while I stay awake with the baby. Mm -hmm. And then during the day, we do all kinds of other stuff like cleaning and- Well, we spend, so we're both awake during the day. We spend that time kind of together. Mm -hmm. And then, um, which is good because I've been pumping. So I'm needing like time to pump while you take care of the baby. Yeah. It's hard to, that. I think that's been the hardest part of the schedule for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, what's been the hardest part for you? Uh, I mean, this, uh, whenever the baby cries, I go into like a cold sweat. That's been the hardest part for me. The schedule itself is not difficult, I don't think, for me, because like I'm used to not getting very much sleep. I feel like we're kind of getting a lot of sleep. Yeah. Like but we're, also... we're doing okay as far as like we're not sleep, de you know, deprived and we're not like deliriously tired. I right. don't think. Are you? No. Yeah. Uh, one thing that everybody told us like before, before we gave birth, they're like, get your sleep now. I'm here to tell you, don't do that. Why? Get used to like having a little bit of like very little sleep. I don't in know. In my opinion. <laughs> that way you can like handle it better. Because if you're like used to sleeping like 16 hours a night, like, oh, I got lots of sleep last night. And then all of a sudden you're like getting like two or three. That's got to be hard. But if you're already getting like four to six hours of sleep a night and then you just like hop right into that schedule. <laughs> boom. Good to go. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there is a right way to do anything. I'm no doctor. <laughs> But we are, um, I just put up the video. I just put up the birth blog. Yeah. So we're back. We're back, baby. We're back, baby. Yeah, I'm excited. We, it was nice to have the time away, but it's also nice to get back to like normal life for us. Yeah. So. It's nice to like do it, like go back to what we were doing before, a yeah. routine. Yeah, because we, I mean, we put up a video every single day. And so to not do that, although we were very busy trying to figure out like, life with a baby and just trying to figure out like the schedule thing and just trying to figure things out yeah. so we were busy right but now that we've kind of got it a little bit more down sort of so right mm -hmm. yeah it's just i don't know it's just nice to be back i'm excited yeah also i never realized like how much cleaning you do when you have a baby yeah like i'm just constantly like washing bottles and constantly changing diapers and taking out trash and like yeah. doing laundry laundry's the biggest thing babies go through clothes a lot oh my gosh you guys warned us and you were right yeah. <laughs> so we haven't had i don't want to say it because i don't want to like i, I don't want to ruin this trend that we have going but we haven't had a blowout yet yeah we have not like you I had guess, one the oh, other yeah, night but not like what i thought it would be right it came, it, it came up the front of him, and it, I was just like, I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've had blowouts before. I think what happens is because we're like paying such close attention to him at the moment, we know when he's pooping. Yeah, it's very obvious. We like take him over to the changing table and like start to change him, and then he just like, we hold him there while he poops into the diaper, <laughs> and it's like, here it is. We did it. But he's um, asleep right now, and he has yeah. like this little grumpy face. It's very cute. I like when he makes his little grumpy old man face. The other thing that nobody ever really told us is how much babies sleep. Yeah, so he's been, we're on this like two hour schedule. So he eats every two hours and then he goes to sleep and then he wakes up and he eats up, you know, like he doesn't sleep for a full two hours. Right. But close to it. Because we, we got that sock, the owlet sock. Mm -hmm, and yeah. It tells us how much he sleeps. He sleeps around 17 hours. Yeah. So. He's not awake a whole lot. Right. So I'll be excited when he gets more into like the being awake more stage. Oh yeah. But for now, this is just what our life is like. Sleeping babies. Yeah. 
Oh, and if you guys are ever wondering what that noise is in the background, it's just kind of like a constant He loves a noise machine, like a sound machine. <laughs> also helps him go to sleep. We also got this thing that vibrates the bed. Amazing. If you guys are like becoming parents or having a hard time getting your kids to go to sleep, get like a thing that vibrates the bed because that puts him right to sleep. It's like taking him on a car ride. All right, Tim, don't make the video 30 minutes of you staring at Jackson. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, Disney Plus, follow me on this one. So you guys are doing good with The Mandalorian. It's very entertaining, and everybody loves Baby Yoda, right? So here's what you do. You take a Baby Yoda, and you take a Baby Ewok, and they somehow come together, and then somehow get lost together, and then they have to find their way back to The Mandalorian together using teamwork. This is a million dollar idea. This is a great show. You guys should produce it, Put it on Disney Plus, you'll have millions of people signing up for it. Promise. So a lot of you guys were asking how Bandit was reacting to the baby. And I think he's doing pretty good. He's been sleeping kind of near him. Every time they take a nap together. Pretty cute. Yeah, what well, how does that meme go? Like he protect Oh yeah. He nap. But, <laughs> but mostly most of all, he, he nap. <laughs> But yeah, they're both sleeping. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. We have to be quiet. We don't want to wake up the baby. Don't wake the baby. <laughs> so now it's lunchtime and we've been surviving on pre-made meals and frozen things. And this is some taco chili that our friend Mike brought over for us. It's very delicious. He said that he made it off of a Publix recipe. So uh, he said it was very easy too. It's just kind of like putting everything in one pot and then browning the meat and adding taco seasoning and enchilada seasoning. It's very delicious. Do you guys remember last year when I went to Magic Kingdom and ate a hot dog for 12 days? This is a much different year, isn't it? <laughs> We're just eating chili at home instead of eating 12 hot dogs and then a two foot long hot dog on Christmas Day. We'll put a link to that video in the description down below so you guys can see how many hot dogs I ate. But now, we're eating taco chili. So now here's the question that everybody's dying to know. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> what in your go bag did you absolutely not need at all? I have to say, everything. <laughs> we we really brought so much stuff to the hospital. We used maybe two percent of those things. Right. Like literally, we used nothing that we brought. So, I only wore two outfits. Me too. The one that I showed up in. The I guess I wore three outfits. The one that we left in, and then we had some family and friends oh, come, okay. and I wore like some just comfy pants and like a tank top. So, I wore three outfits. Yeah, I think I did the same thing, but I like packed like five. See, I brought five too, because we weren't sure if we were going to have a C-section or not. So right. I didn't know if we were going to need to stay longer. So I brought extra clothes. Um, I'd never used my makeup once. I brought my makeup because every video I watched was like, you're going to want to bring your makeup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never used it. Um, well, I, I bought like a special robe because everybody was like, you're going to want to have a really comfortable robe and you're going to want to feel nice. And I never wore that. Right. So we did a special package with the hospital where they like set us up with some gift baskets and some like plush towels and like a nicer pillow, a nicer blanket. And these were all things that we could take home with us. So it was actually a really nice package to do. It was just like a much more comfortable stay, I feel like. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we did that. Um, but it came with a robe, it came with towels and pillows and all that. I never wore the robe. <laughs> um, so we have all these like robes that we never wore. I wore this one. Oh, this, yeah. This was a really good purchase, by the way. This was from Target. Yeah. I feel like it was maybe like 25 bucks. And Not very much at all. Yeah, really, really worth it. So if you see this robe at Target, buy it. Yeah. It's so comfortable. I was trying to think if there was anything else that I brought that I didn't need. I can tell you there was some stuff that we brought that we absolutely needed. Oh, yeah. Like um, shampoo and oh, soap. Yeah. Well, they had soap at the hospital, but for whatever reason, when we were looking at the website for the hospital, they're like, we have the nicest soap. You're going to love our soap. It's like staying at a five-star resort. And then we got there and it was like no soap at all. So, yeah, I'm glad we brought that. Yeah. And then I'm also really glad that we brought our own blankets and I brought a pillow for me, but you ended up using it. Just one day. No, my pillow. Oh, yeah. You I used did. it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I used it after the birthing suite. Yeah. So I'm glad that we brought blankets and pillows. We yeah. needed those for sure. Um, I'm really glad that I brought my slippers. 
Oh, yeah. That was a good thing to have. Socks. I really needed the socks. So I will say this. If you are a partner of somebody that is having a child and you're going to support them, it is freezing cold in the hospitals. Bring a sweatshirt. Bring blankets. Bring blankets. Bring blankets. <laughs> Like, no matter what, the beds are uncomfortable, but as long as you have a couple of blankets to keep yourself warm, you can get some sleep. Yeah, I feel like we did pretty good as far as, like, being as comfortable as we could be. There was something else that I brought that I was actually really surprised worked out very well, is a little fan, like, we would bring to the to the theme parks. Oh, yeah. For when you were in labor, I just had a fan on you, and you had chapstick going. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah, that was another thing. Everybody said, bring chapstick, and, like, yes... Yeah, bring chapstick. Bring chapstick, because your lips get so dry. Yeah. I don't know why. And, and then, my, my hands got really dry, too. Yeah, that was strange. I know. I just like drier air in the hospital, I guess. Yeah, and then snacks. You can also bring, um, I think all of the rooms have refrigerators, at least the ones that our hospital did. Bring, like, like food to microwave. And oh, there's, yeah. like, a, a, a break room, like a family lounge where you can go, and there's a microwave, and there's, like, coffee in there. Yeah. And there was also people like brought baked goods. I don't know where the baked goods came from. They looked like somebody brought them in from home. Huh. But like one day there was like scones and cookies. Hmm. It was very interesting. Yeah. All in all, I feel like we had a really good uh, hospital experience. Yeah. I really do like, cause we, we did the, up, we did like an upcharge um, for the room and an upcharge for like they brought food. What was it called? It was a concierge package. That was that same package? Yeah. Where they, they brought, like, juices and just stuff. They've stocked our fridge, basically. Right. And that was actually really nice because when people came to the room to, like, see the baby and everything, we had, like, food and drinks for them. Right. And we had enough for us, too. So it was just, it was really nice. Yeah. And all of the nurses were really great. And it was just, like, a really great experience. Yeah. So we definitely, we, we brought a bunch of stuff we didn't need. And I think watching videos on the internet of like, this is what you should bring for your, you know, your hospital stay. I would maybe take it with a grain of salt and yeah. maybe, um, maybe not bring all of those things. Right. Because we definitely didn't need all of those things. I would bring a couple of changes of clothes, some shampoo, some soap, and like socks, if, socks blankets, pillows, phone chargers, snacks. Chapstick. Chapstick. A I fan. feel like that's really it. I, I mean, even... I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really need anything else. Yeah. So if you guys ever wanted to know what being a new parent is like, basically, it's just you noticing something about the baby and being like, is this what the baby is supposed to do? Is this what's supposed to happen right now? Is this normal? Because there's a lot of stuff that happens with a baby that like, he's just doing things and you're like, wait, is this what every baby does? And yes. I think that is what every baby does. So, I don't know. That's what today has been. It's like, wait, is this normal? It's just, everything is confusing when you have a new baby. Everything. As a side note, he does love looking outside at the trees. He also gets the hiccups so much. And yeah. He had, it's, he had oh, hiccups. sorry. Oh. He also gets the hiccups so much, and he had the hiccups a lot when he was in the womb. So, he just keeps getting the I think that's just his thing. Hiccups. I feel like the day kind of slips away from you when you're dealing with a child. But here we are. We're at dinner now, and this is what we're going to have. We're going to have a lasagna. It's gonna, gonna, hopefully going to be easy to make. Take us about 65 minutes. Just pop it in the oven. Piece of kick or a piece of lasagna. So how you doing? Well, we had kind of a rough day. I don't know why. I think we're just trying to figure out, like, feeding. So I think we... It's hard to tell. I don't want to overfeed him because he had been like spitting up and like throwing up a little bit um, the other day. And I think it was because he was being overfed. And I think we're just trying to figure out the amount that he needs to be eating. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because we're fairly certain that he's in a growth spurt right now. Right. So he was, he's like all of his growth. We did his two week um, doctor's appointment already. So we know that he's gained all of his weight back. He's doing really well as far as like his growth chart and he is getting enough food, but I think he still wants more food because I think he's growing right now. But we, I don't know, it, like everybody, they were saying he needs to be eating like 22 ounces of food a day, but I think he wants more than that. So. He is in the 75th percentile for size. So he's a big boy. 
So maybe he does. He's like, it's a grown boy, you know? Right. I just, I want to keep him happy, but I don't want to overfeed as far as like making him sick. Right. You know? So it's like, it's just tough because I want to keep him happy, but I also want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And so now we fed him a little bit more. He got like an extra ounce of food and now he's, I think he's asleep. So I think that was what we needed to do. So we were finally able to get him uh, put down. He's in his bassinet now and he's sleeping soundly. And I have to say, I need to do some laundry, like fold some laundry and put some laundry away. And I've never been happier to like just fold laundry. <laughs> like it's crazy how much less time you have to do anything but baby stuff, like after the baby's born. So we've been just trying to keep up with the housework, trying to keep up with just our general things that we need to do day to day. Oh, what's that? That's the oven. It's preheating. Oh, gotcha. So yeah, so that's dinner is finally cooking. But um, yeah, it's just nice to have a second to just like fold clothes. Such a weird thing. But that's what I'm going to do real quick. Whoa, that's a lasagna of some sort. Yum. Boy, what if, what if this is amazing? What if this is like the best lasagna I've ever had? I don't think it will be, but it could be. And there it is, our final lasagna. Turned out, I, I think it's gonna be good. It looks kinda good. Hopefully it's cooked all the way through. I cooked it for a very long time, so I'd imagine it would be cooked all the way through, but sometimes you never know. The one thing that I will 100% never understand about babies is why they fight going to sleep. Like, you're so tired, just go to sleep. Why are you making a big deal out of it? <laughs> Just sleep. That's all you need to do. He wants to be awake with us, I think. But also, the only thing that seems to work sometimes is just like laying, laying him on my chest. Sometimes that works. We're hoping it works right now. And then Bandit's over here keeping us company. So today has been really rough. This has been like a, a rough, day but still worth it and now we talk quietly for the rest of the night i know you want to give babies noise so that they can sleep through anything but after it was so hard to get them to go down i just don't want to chance it but somebody did take my seat bandit are you in my seat no. So it's actually the next morning because we were very tired last night, but this baby is asleep. I had the longest awake session with him today where he was awake for two and a half hours. And we get to hang out and Bandit was there and it was a good time. So here's something interesting that I found out during these like two weeks off. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here now. Uh, TV plays the most ridiculous things that make no sense. So for Christmas, apparently, on two different networks, there was a Twilight Marathon where they showed every Twilight movie. So, okay, I have been um, pumping breast milk, and so every, I, I do it for like 20 minutes, and in order to take my mind off of like, you know, what I'm doing, I'll watch TV or something just to kind of like take my mind off of it for like 20 minutes. Right. So I was watching the Twilight movie marathon in like 20 minute increments over like a two hour period. So I'd see like 20 minutes of each movie. They're weird. Yeah, they are. Like super weird. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen them all. I would show up at the end and be like, wait, why is there a kid riding that wolf? Well, and I don't understand like the whole, um, uh, the werewolf guy imprinted on the baby thing. It was, at, the whole thing is really bizarre. Yeah. Like, super strange. And also, there's a bunch of people in the very first one that I didn't realize. Like, Anna Kendrick is in the first Twilight movie. In the last one, there's a bunch of people that I'm yeah. like... Like, Rami Malek is in it. Um, the Dakota guy, Fanning. The guy from that plays Beast in X-Men. Was he in it? Yeah, he's a blonde guy. I think that's a different guy. I think that's the guy from um, Sweeney Todd. Oh. I we'll could be wrong. It up. Yeah, I might be wrong about that. IMDb! It, yeah, <laughs> I think that might be a different guy. But, By the way, the baby's asleep, so we're being, like, somewhat quiet. Well, I feel like we're we're not being super quiet because he needs to wake up. Yeah. He just like, Mah. Yeah, he does this thing where he just kind of like jerks sometimes. And I'm like, what are you doing? Something that, that we learned at some point, I don't remember where we saw it, but like the whole reason that you swaddle babies is because they feel like they're falling all the time. Yeah, like they don't have uh, control over their 
arms and legs and stuff. So they feel like out of control yeah. when they can just like wiggle them all around. But I don't know how they figured that out. Like, did you ask a baby? Yeah. Hey, baby, what are you feeling? <laughs> also, when we were in the hospital, though, there was times that he would just like, like throw both his arms and legs in the air and just be like, like, you know how like you look if you're falling backwards into a pool or something? Well, and he still does that. So that's what we did over the, well, that's not really what we did over the two we week period. We just watched Twilight. That's it. <laughs> 20 minutes of each movie. 20 minutes of Twilight <laughs> at a time. 20 well, minutes of Twilight's my favorite like band. Oh, yeah. Yeah. New band name. New band name. But also, I, I don't understand, when were those movies made? Because I can't understand why they made so many of them. Because it was like a, the next phenomenon. It's like if Harry Potter didn't have staying power, mm-hmm. that's what Twilight was. Okay. Like, Harry Potter is, it was, the first movie came out a while ago. I think I was like in high school still, no? I don't know. Oh. Huh. It was a long time ago. Yeah. But... The, because they like have staying power, they are still popular. They Whereas, still play them every weekend. They still play a Harry Potter marathon every weekend on like some channel. I always see it on the guide. Yeah, but uh, Twilight was on track to that. Mm-hmm. But then people made fun of the sparkly vampires. Well, I think what it was is that the whole young adult like thing was so oversaturated because they tried to make all of these. Oh yeah. Things like the next Twilight, but I don't know. But yeah, Twilight weird. Very weird. Yeah. Rise and shine. <laughs> oh no, he went back to sleep. He didn't like it. Do it again. No. Rise and shine. <laughs> there he goes. Do I have to do it more? He's like, this is terrible. <laughs> Who are my parents? And why are they like this? So I wanted to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> so today you're going to go back to the parks. We're yeah. like going to get back into the normal groove of things. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm going to go back to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. See what it's like there and see how much has changed. If I, it's bet, like, I bet it's still magical. It's probably still magical. And I'm, the kingdom. <laughs> I'm actually like, I'm kind of bummed because I haven't been, I haven't been to the parks in like, I feel like a month. Yeah. Maybe When's longer. the last time that you went to the parks? I think it's been longer than a month. It's been a while. And then I can't go back until I think about two months. Yeah. Because I've got to wait. We have to wait until he gets his shots we can take him to the theme parks right it's just like i don't think it's a good idea to take him before he gets like fully vaccinated right so especially because there's been like not in orlando but at disneyland there's been measles outbreaks yeah so i'm really just like we want to take every precaution as far as like that goes right but um but yeah so i feel like i won't be going to the parks for like a full three or four months but you know what what once you do go back to the parks, you'll be able to ride Rise of the Resistance. You'll be able to ride Hagrid's. What <laughs> so else is new that you have I didn't ride Smuggler's Run. Run. Yeah. I feel like so many things. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you'll oh, get well, to ride. I think by then, um, Mickey's Runaway Railway will be open. In March, yeah. Right? Yeah, March 4th. So, I'm going to have so many new things to do. I'm excited. I can't, Real exciting. Yeah, I can't wait for those videos. I oh. told... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Are you waking up, little babe? Here it comes. And he's back asleep. I feel like this is our life. It's like, are you awake? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> I don't know. Which one are you most excited for? I think Rise of the Resistance and Hagrid's. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to ride those. They are a very good ride. Well, and I think that I'm excited too because by the time that I actually get to ride them, I don't think the lines are going to be as crazy. In two months? You think they will be? Right at spring break. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. But we will be able to do rider swap. Oh, yeah. So, so that'll be good. So now Jackson is officially waking up, and I think that means that it's time for us to go. Oh, yeah. We got to feed him and, like, do our daily baby stuff. Change his poopy diapers. <laughs> I don't think he has a poopy diaper right now. He probably has a pee-pee diaper. Yeah. Let me ask you guys one thing really quick. What? So Jen was saying like his pacifier, she wants to call it a pippy because that's what uh, you called it when you were growing up. When I was growing up, we, I don't know why we called it a pippy, but we did. And I've never heard of anything. I just would call it a pacifier. Or did you have one though? I have no idea. Oh, okay. What do you guys call um, pacifiers? Yeah. What do you call, what do you call farts? <laughs> do you call them toots? Do you call them poopity doots? I call them toots. I'm like, you got a little tooty butt? I call it farts. Well, because he farts so much. Like, he has such, like, gas. Yeah. And it's not... 
I, maybe that's part of the reason why he's so colicky too sometimes is because he's just trying to like pass gas mm-hmm. but um he's a very tooty butt boy yeah and we're like we go to the to the pediatrician we're like he farts a lot she goes meh that's what happens <laughs> and i'm like okay yeah. so i guess babies just fart a lot well and we do like the bicycle legs to try to work it out and yeah. stuff and we do little tummy massages to try to work it out but he he has a lot of farts he likes to toot and with that being said <laughs> we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> is that how you're gonna end it? yeah no that's the best oh okay well let's end it for real okay <laughs> Well, thank you guys for hanging out during this home vlog. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to get back to like the normal theme park content Yeah. after this. We just needed a couple of days of just like relaxing at home, getting back to normal. Yeah. Like getting back to vlogging. Yeah. Picking so, up a camera. Yeah. It was kind of like weird to take such a long break. It was. But we're glad to be back. We hope you guys are excited for us to be back. We're excited. We are excited. So um, be on the lookout for a theme park video tomorrow. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now now it's time time to pay pay the the price. price.